Webster School was founded in 1906 by the Right Reverend Charles Henry Brent, the first bishop of the missionary district of the Philippine Islands under the Protestant Episcopal Church in the United States. The school prides itself as the first private school established in Baguio City. During Easter week of 1906, the school formally opened its doors to eight young Igorot boys who hiked seven days all the way from Bontoc Mountain Province. Two years later, the Easter weaving room was established through Deaconess Anne Hargreaves, who decided to bring the Igorot girls together to have home economics class in a small room so they may earn a living and at the same time to preserve the Igorot style of weaving, but wanted them to make other products than tapis and g-strings. Not surprisingly, the first products were table runners, placemats, and free stoves. Have you ever wondered how handloom products are made? Weaving is an intricate process, and this is where it all happens. Warping is the first step of the weaving process where parallel yarn sheets are constructed through a device called the warping device. This is the warping device. What happens is, they get a cone of thread and using this warping device, the thread is carefully removed from the cone, transforming these cones into what we call as warp thread, where the threads are grouped according to its desired color combination. This warp thread are strung over the loom vertically and holds the tension while weaving. This is the stage where the thread are laid out intricately, following the prescribed sizes, either length or width, or other specifications like design. The sizes of the finished products differ from 1 inch to 33 inches wide. After the warping comes the beaming process. The warp thread is transferred from the warping device to the beam. It's the second step and it's called beaming mainly because the thread is placed on a beam. It's a simple process actually, where the weavers are winding the full width of the warp yarns in a single winding operation on the weaving beam. A wood is carefully placed as it winds so that the threads will not tangle. This process normally takes 30 minutes and sometimes less. Now here comes the most difficult part of the entire process, the threading. This is the most intricate, complicated, and detailed part. This prepares the thread for the weaving proper. These are called the reeds. They are made of metal. Now these are called the heddles. And these are the eyes of the heddle. The threading process is where the warp threads are carefully inserted into the eyes of the heddles and reeds. A pair or a set of thread is inserted to each of these eyes of the heddles and reeds according to the pattern design of the loomed product. This process transforms the warp thread into weft yarns. Threading is done for 3 days for a 33 inches wide material, but this also depends on the design of the items to be woven. The more complicated the design, the longer it takes to do the threading. After the hard part of the entire process comes the most rewarding of them all, the weaving. The weaving process is where the weft yarn will be wind to the shuttle, which carries the weft yarn across the loom to create designs. Two distinct sets of yarns or threads are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric or cloth. This is the most satisfying step in the whole weaving process because the finished product can be seen as it is being weaved. The loom product is unfolding right before your eyes. Now that is perfection! Easter weaving has been around for a hundred years. No wonder that this talent of weaving became innate and natural to our weavers. Handled products have indeed become a vital part of the Igorot culture, a proud testament of the Igorot people's character of hard work, authenticity, and creativity. This is where the magic happens, the sewing room. It's amazing how this product transformed from simple threads to products of pride and beauty. No wonder that wearing or having an authentic handloom product brings deep sense of pride being an Igorot. On top of that, these products are really sturdy. Now I understand why tapis and bahags are the perfect heirlooms.
Our tailors transform the handloom fabric to products that can be worn, displayed, or designed. With their hands, born at a variety of products such as bags, shoes, dresses, masks, or even accessories just to name a few. I am so thrilled to be in this room, witnessing how all the products are being put together thanks to our talented tailors. The Easter weaving room is open to all people. Witness how these handle products are made and appreciate a part of the Igorot culture that Easter weaving has fostered all throughout this year. Today, the Easter Weaving Room is a thriving manufacturer, retailer, and exporter of indigenous textiles. EWRI continues to preserve the Cordillera culture, particularly the weaving heritage, by serving as an instrument in promoting the native handicrafts and providing a home for the enhancement of the indigenous Igorot skills. The room is now a humble building designed to house several upright looms and backstrap looms manned by women who have developed expert knowledge and mastery of the techniques, materials, and designs of cordillera weaving. Countless tourists and visitors continue to patronize the weaving room, and they are constantly mesmerized by the intertwining of rainbow arid threads. They are amazed as Igorot hands daintily and expertly play along with these threads to produce the products that have made the Easter Weaving Room internationally renowned. Having a first-hand view and idea of the weaving process truly enhances each visitor's appreciation and all for this native art and skill. In response to requests and demands over the recent years, the Easter Weaving Room Incorporated also offers a wide array of other handicrafts, which include wood carvings, rattan and paper baskets or bags, shell and coconut deckers, 
local oil paintings, Ilocano and Yakan weaving, as well as some local food delicacies. In the past, these hand-woven fabrics are sewn to clothe our ancestors, but it has evolved as years pass. Now, Handum Igorot fabric is not only a bearer of the Igorot culture's pride, but a statement of our culture's preservation, continuous growth, and prosperity. The growth and influence of Easter Weaving Incorporated remains evident in homes not only in the Philippines, but all throughout the world. Yes, the Easter Weaving Room Incorporated and the Quality Cordilleran Weaving will continue to remain synonymous in response to the needs and preferences of its patrons, and the weaving tradition shall be preserved and sustained for generations. Tangkilikin natin ang sariling atin. Come to Easter Weaving, the home of genuine hand-woven products. Remember, the best is still made by experienced hand. We are waiting for you! Easter Weaving is waving! <laughs>